Just warning weather with Chief Meteorologist Aaron Christensen. Well, you know, it's been a little bit warmer when here at 5 o'clock we've cooled to 66 degrees. That is it. Still pretty mild outside with some high level clouds now, but our high temperature today, 74 degrees. Wow. Well above that normal mark for the Tucson area. In fact, almost 10 degrees above normal. Okay, nine if you're getting really. Specific there. 65 is what we're typically at. Started the day warmer too. We were at 38, typically starting about 39. So, in line with where we should be as far as that morning low is concerned, we'll be warmer than normal tonight though. 43 degrees for Tucson, and then tomorrow warming to the upper 60s. Mostly sunny skies, although I have to tell you, we do have some high level clouds moving through. Could even bring a slim chance for showers to the north and east of Tucson. We'll talk more about that in just a moment, but still, from a temperature perspective, pretty mild. 61 for Benson, 62 Douglas, 66 Oro Valley, and 67 for Green Valley. So our clouds are on the move. If you look really carefully, you can see sort of like this counterclockwise swirl to the clouds here just off the coast of Southern California and Northern Baja. And that little spin is enough to kick up some of these clouds in our direction. We're kind of in a dry slot today, but expecting a few more clouds in our skies tomorrow, especially right along that Arizona New Mexico border. Now, the lion's share of the rain that falls from these clouds will fall over southern New Mexico, but there is a slim chance we'll have a little bit of spillover into extreme eastern Arizona. So we'll watch for that tomorrow. I don't expect to uh, have any gully washers or those rain gauges uh, really getting full or amounting to much of anything. That, of course, some good news for the folks who will be out at the golf scramble tomorrow at 49er Country Club. If you're not into golf, hey, that's okay. Stop by, say hi to me. I'll be there from about 9 to noon. And uh, just bring a toy. That's what we ask. It does benefit Miracle on 31st Street as well as Toys for Tots. Nice weather, too. Finishing up with temps in the upper 60s. Again, those partly cloudy skies. Our weather as we head into the weekend will be a snowbird's delight. Ridge of high pressure strengthening across the west, making for clear skies, warmer temps. Look what the rest of the country is dealing with. Rain showers snow showers, ice, frigid, cold. Yeah, and even some flash flooding in the Colorado area. Can you believe this? We typically talk about flash flooding during the rainy seasons, but now we're talking about it in winter. We do have video, trust me. Here we go. Take a look at this, a wall of water as an ice dam broke last night in Clear Creek County, Colorado. This is just above Denver. You can see it was kind of holding back plenty of water and ice rushed down the Rockies last night. And by the way, if this, uh, the name Creek, uh, Clear Creek County sounds familiar to you, that is where they had all of that flooding just this past summer because of some of those fires in the mountains. So definitely a bit of a mess there. Here's a look at that seven day forecast for you now. 67 degrees tomorrow, 63 Friday and mostly clear skies aside from that little hiccup of cloud cover and that slim chance for rain tomorrow. So that cold didn't last for long. Nope. There you go. Karen, <laughs> what Aaron. <laughs> Hi, Aaron. Where, where'd I come from? Nice to meet you. Okay. Hi, Hi there. Aaron. <laughs> so as we take a look at a couple of pictures, tell me 